Hey there, Joel here from cosignsound.com.au. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate a bird tweet envelope that I find quite effective and practical. Here's a quick demo of the tweet envelope in Absinthe. Uh, we're using this XY pad to control depth and speed. Check it out. So as you can see, um, with the XY pad, we can effectively control the speed of these tweets and the depth, in other words, the pitch modulation depth of these tweets as well. And the way it's um, been programmed at the moment, they do pitch shift as well. So you can see that the main pitch is ramping down from... For example, here at 7,000 down uh, shallow ramp, and then we have ramping down from around 5,000 as well. So basically the fundamental is transposing. The principles we'll explore may be applied in other synths like Yuhi Zebra 2. Here's a quick um, example I used in Zebra 2 with the default envelope. Here's a look at the main two envelopes I used in one of the modules. It looks complicated, but I'll explain it. So basically, yes, so two looping envelopes. So we've got the amp envelope here and the pitch envelope. And given that we have two dimensions here, we can assign that to an XY pad. We'll end up with some practical control over the parameters. First of all, after some analysis of bird tweets, we find that common sounds include pitch rises and pitch falls. Depending on the bird species, these vary in the mean or average pitch, as well as the depth and length. The character is really coming from the, the performance of this over time. I'll explain further in the following bird synthesis video. So for those of you who have watched my granular loop envelope video, this is actually quite similar because we use the, uh, I run through how you can use the loop envelope with these breakpoints. I suppose this is a little more advanced because we are linking the two parameters together. Uh, for now, I'll just run through the breakpoints uh, quickly. So we've got uh, the very first envelope is assigned to the tweet ramp. See, that is assigned to this, the beginning of this envelope. 
Now, that is applied to the time scale as well as the depth. So there is some amplitude modulation on this, although it mostly applies to the, the pitch. Uh, importantly, once that ramp is finished, we then jump into the loop side. So the loop begins in this blue section. Basically, uh, the tweet depth will be lowering the pitch in this envelope, as we'll demonstrate. And the x-axis will increase the speed. So you can see that uh, basically the envelope shows both the dimensions are hooked together. So we've got um, two looping envelopes. Um, this faint line is the current settings as shown by the uh, controller that I'm using. So at the moment, and I'll just take out this ramp as well. So at the moment, I've just got a full depth on the pitch rise and then minimum depth. Now we have, that's a rapid pitch and that's a, a gradual pitch rise. So what is happening is that the sound will trigger and then we have this looping segment here. Now it's important to have the amp ducking as it is here. You see that the the signal is basically gated. In order to cut the the bird sirens or the you know the stopping of the sound, otherwise we end up with a very um, more like a siren sound. So I'll just demonstrate what that is. which is something you can achieve with an LFO. But in this case, we need to gate the sound. So we'll include an amp envelope modulation like this one. Um, and so you can see that that links up with the uh, pitch envelope itself. So anyone who's used Absinthe will know that the envelope is built with maximum values. So at the moment, the maximum value will just be the maximum value in pitch will just be a constant pitch with the gating of the amp that's staying in there. So if you look at this um, ex breakpoint, ex for example, um, there is no uh, there is no assignment on the amp scale, even though it's showing negative 100, there's no assignment there. So actually, this value will not move. But what does move is this breakpoint, which is assigned to the rate. So about 75% of that stretches. And the associated one in the pitch is also 75 on the tweet rate. But the pitch needs a depth control, so that's assigned to the tweet depth. And so when I move down on the y-axis on the xy pad, you'll see that drop. The end of the envelope is also assigned to the rate. So the length of that gap there is also corresponding to that gap. which basically ensures that, that the envelope moves uh, uniformly across. So they're both assigned 
Well, that one's assigned to 75. This is 100. It is very important that both envelopes are exactly mathematically aligned because they are essentially modulating the same voice, the same oscillator, so they need to be very, very much aligned. And that's why I think I used this grid earlier. I used this on another voice for the pitch down as well. So you can see here the this is actually the pitch down. Now this one is just going to use different maximum values. So instead of this breakpoint lowering, we now have these, this breakpoint the start of the envelope and the end of the envelope uh, have, have been assigned to the depth. This envelope takes a bit of time to do. I'll show you another demo in the Yuhi Zebra 2. So I'm using a demo at the moment, but um, I managed to replicate this pretty most of the way. Um, at the moment, I'll just use um, this envelope generator here. Uh, I'll set the attack to... Uh, first I'll change the oscillator to sine wave. I think the demo mode plays random notes at the moment, but that won't won't really affect uh, what we're doing. So just transpose it. Go to the matrix. Uh, we'll assign the envelope one to the pitch or the tune. And we'll set that to 24. Actually, uh, 12 should be enough. So that pitch uh, will be joined to this. And this is also modulating the amplitude here on oscillator 1. So we're using a quick decay, a very fast attack, quick decay, no sustain, um, using a strong curve on the V slope. This uh, fall rise is interesting and I'll set that to negative 86 I believe. Now the power of this comes from assigning it to the XY pad as we did before, so we'll do that. Uh, assign to X, we'll assign that to Y1 actually, and we'll assign the, uh, the speed comes from varying the decay amount, so we'll assign that to X1. Oh, an important thing that I've missed is that this envelope generator has loop modes. So loop A will loop to the start of the envelope throughout the envelope. There we go. Now I'll just soften that attack a bit more.
Now, there is no actual depth control on this, so I can assign that to vary that envelope depth with uh, the mod wheel, like so. So now there's no depth control until I ramp up the mod wheel. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, that concludes today's video on bird tweet synthesis. Please let me know your thoughts below, leave a comment and a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe with a bell to receive monthly updates. Next month we'll look closer at bird synthesis techniques and some analysis.